Hey folks, it's Constance and it's been a long time and I have been working on a lot of stuff and I have been very sick since before uh, Halloween. So it's been six weeks and I am just starting to feel better. I'm still a little sick. But now it's more of the seasonal allergies rather than to just be sick. Um, but I have finished King Triton and King Triton would have been in the segment video before this. So all of my Halloween stuff, this is my last Halloween video. The other ones are pre-recorded um, and this is my last one. So I waited to put everything up because I was not happy with King Triton and King Triton is going to be stored in these coffins. Um, if you are on my Facebook page, you did get a chance to see the actual picture of the completed one. Now, I'm going to show you the one that I did not get a chance to finish, and I had the intention of finishing it, but I did not. So, this one will be the outside casing to the completed one, which is going to hold King Triton. Um, actually, the box is actually the box that King Triton came in. Um, this is my husband's idea. He got a new tool, and I don't know where it's at. I'd show you. It's actually what I considered... Um, uh, what did I call it? Oh, I know it's scary as hell. Oh, um, I call it the mini jaws of life because it scares me. I have what's called an alligator looper, which is an electric uh, chainsaw. And it takes both hands to actually run it, but this thing's like a mini cha a jaws of life. It's cool as hell, but it scares the crap out of me. Um, anyway, so I want to show you this. I did not finish it. And I will never do another cardboard paper one again because this took me about 11 hours to do and I can make it in wood faster, obviously, but my husband's idea, so I was making it for him. So if you guys know what the rocking tool is that you can turn any paper or table or furniture, anything that is a flat surface into a wood grain. So that's exactly what I did, it took forever. I let Nicole, my neighbor, sit and do this and she did it the opposite direction than I would have done. But I used craft paper, and I'm going to show you some pictures behind this, and I did some pictures of it. So I took a cardboard box, a long cardboard box, and I sealed it all the way around, and then I did cut the flaps on the inside off. But it's you have to bubble roll the paper or the tape so that you don't get tape lines, which is what I did. And then I taped the or painted the inside. And trust me, let me tell you something. It takes a long time to do that. Um, but you don't get exact lines and when you get into bigger boxes and this is what I had problems with but it didn't want to stay um, and I had to use a lot of silicone and it didn't, still didn't want to stay with the bigger boxes that's why I was getting frustrated um, the littler box worked better um, so it's why I got frustrated with the bigger one it didn't like me so much um, and I didn't like the way this one came out so much but it wasn't so bad this one took me way too long uh, at the ends, like I said, I just did not like the way the big one came out, and that's the reason why I was getting frustrated. It came out pretty cool. The grain is really nice, but I did not like it so much. This is the bit outside box to his tool that came in. There was another box that was on the inside, and it was not pliable to use. Now, I'm going to stick this over, and I'm going to show you the actual little box that King Triton came in. So, I mean, it's pretty cool if you look at it. I mean, if you don't have anything but craft paper, the rocking tool, and I use the glaze. You can use just about any type of paint. This little box, however, this is the one I showed everybody online. It came out absolutely perfect. I love it. It came out great. It actually took me about eight, nine hours with all the work that I have involved. And it did come out like a little one. I told my husband, I said, if you could protect this one, um, I'll put it up on a front porch or use. I don't decorate the inside of my house for Halloween. I just don't. Um, I do for Christmas. My mother, I grew up decorating. She decorated, there was four of us. She decorated for every holiday to make us feel at home for holidays. Let me make sure I have it at the right end. I have it backwards. Actually, it goes this way. So this was my husband's idea. He gets a new tool. And it wasn't in this box. It was in that box. He goes, hey, honey, look. Look at the box. And I'm going, ooh, look at the tool. Because I love power tools. And I'm like, ooh, new tool, new tool. He goes, honey, box. I'm like, oh, no. I was like, no, tool. He goes, no, box. I'm like, no, tool. I'm like, no. He goes, no, box, honey, bo honey, box. I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, look, coffin. I'm like, no, tool. He goes, oh, po cof coffin. I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. No, look at power tool. He's like, no, but a coffin. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, if you want me to turn it, I'm like, ooh, tool. He goes, no, coffin. I'm like, okay, I'll make it into whatever you want. Look at the power tool. So it went on for like five minutes. I said, I'll make you what you want. So I decided to experiment with the smaller one, which I love. This is the one I did. 
Um, and I did it with the green going this way, more like a coffin. Look, I let Nicole play with that one. I like the way this came out. And this one, the, it lined up perfectly. Every piece of paper was absolutely perfect. The ends came out exactly the way I wanted. You can see all the way around, it lined up perfectly. I used paper clips, the thicker, wider paper clips to hold better. It was perfect. Every part of this one, this was my experiment box. I'm in love with it. I used creepy cloth around the edges. Let me show you the back. My favorite. Every piece, as you can see, lined up exactly. And I bubble rolled the tape. If you guys know what I mean, you roll it into a roll piece. Took a lot of tape. I do not suggest the tape that does not come on a dispenser because it will drive you crazy. Uh, unless you got somebody to help you. I, I took a lot of pieces of, of crop paper. I think it took um, maybe 26 sheets of eight and a half by 11. Uh, I used my glaze paint, the indoor outdoor glaze. You can find it at Lowe's. But that's creepy cloth, I used silicone. So it dried clear. And it just took just nice, just and I cut little pieces of creepy cloth. Except the inner side has a full sheet, uh, full piece in it. It's a dollar at the um, Dollar Tree. Now if you look on the inside, I do have a satin. And I made sure it looked like there is a little bit of blood here and there inside. I did go ahead and just put the edge of the paper down in here because you have to where you can't put tape you can't put paper in the edge in here because of the fact it still has that fold. Again, when I did it, I sealed all the way around. I took the flap off here and I took the flap off down in the side. So I tape, I did not tape on the inside. I double taped at all the edges on the outside before I put the paint or tape on it. You know what I mean? I taped like I was shipping the box, but I cut the flap off there and I cut the flap off on the inside. And then when I cut, I cut the, the I made sure that this was done but when I took the flaps off I took one of the flaps here I threw I had four flaps I took that flap and that flap and this flap and this flap threw one away I put one of the flaps here one here and one here so you can have that security it's almost like actually making a coffin so that you have that security on the door so you have that stiffness so there's if you, if you, can, if you can see it I have that piece here have that piece here and I have this piece here. I think I have some pictures to show that for you. But it's incredible. I, I absolutely love this piece. And again, when I put all the paper around and over the edges, I used the silicone, but I used like the big clips, um, paper clips. But again, I siliconed around it. Now, I actually used stuffing with Ziploc bags and I wrapped all of the, um, the satin around it and I made it look like there's been blood down in there or embalming fluid, and I had an absolute blast. But I did use the, um, it's not black paint in there. It is the glaze down in there, and I used the rocking tool a little bit with the green, and then I just kind of stripped it down through there. Now I'm gonna have a little fun with you, and I have a mummy. I actually left my mummy out. So I gotta keep my mermaids. I'm not gonna show you my mermaids because if you haven't seen the video. So I'll have my mummy out. So my mummy's gonna sit in here. So you guys can see my mummy. But he doesn't fit in here the proper way, so. I got my mummy in here, so I'm gonna turn him the other way because he can't fit on the pillow. So my mummy in here. So yeah, obviously the mummy's not the correct thing to go in here, but my little skeletons fit in here pretty well. I actually used it like that at Halloween. But I also have this little thing that shakes. So I added in here and I had a sound activator so my sound activator would get the thing shaking. So the whole box was like freaking out. So I mean, the people would walk by going, what the hell is in that box? Well, they actually thought it was a real coffin in the yard. So, you know, hey, the box was free. It cost me some glaze. I mean, if you got like acrylic paint, you might have to get a bigger bottle. Um, but you know, hey, this this came out pretty awesome. I was pretty impressed with it. You guys, if you're a paper crafter, you got a box, you got tape, creepy cloth for a book, you got extra fabric. Hell, if you don't have that, if you got an old shirt or old pair of pajamas, an old pillow, it it worked in my favor. I mean, it took a lot of time for me to do it, but if you stop to think about it, you got a box that comes in the mail. I'm sure a neighbor does. You got tape, you got craft paper. You don't have to have glaze. Regular acrylic paint works. Again, 
Yes, it's faster to do it in wood, but if you don't have the wood, but you got the craft paper, you got tape, you got a rocker tool, even if you don't have the rocking tool, I'm sure you can come up with a way and a concept um, to make it. I mean, you can use a sponge, I'm sure, if you can come up with the concept of it. Um, but I, I just had a little bit of fun. And I could probably get him to mummy eyes. But uh, it's going to store my mermaids. But I thought maybe you'd get a kick out of, uh, I'll throw in some pictures of somewhat how I made it. Everybody on the Facebook page enjoyed watching uh, or seeing the pictures. But yeah, not too shabby for a cardboard box. I had the material already. Um, I had an extra pillow. All I did was uh, I keep a pillow. And uh, it's in spare pillow, but I always like to keep a small end of it open. If I ever have company, they use the pillow, but I keep like a small slit of it open. For a stupid little project like this, because it's not like I ever have guests, but if I do, they, they don't know. I take a little bit out here and there. But I never have guests, but if I do, you know, they just have a little bit fluffy, less fluffier pillow. So, yeah, that's what I did. I kept a little air in it with a little fluff in it and silicone. and So really all I put in it was a little bit of glaze. I bought the rocking tool for like six bucks, I think. Seven dollars, and I always wanted the tool, so there I go. So that is going to be, yep, Triton in my mermaid's, um, well, no, he's going to stay in it. But because I didn't finish the other one, it's actually going to protect this one because this one better be protected because this one's my favorite and I didn't get the chance to finish that. So that's going to be kind of like the casket shell for that casket, <laughs> for this coffin. You get my point. So now I finally got a chance to share with you guys. I know it's been a while for everybody on the craft page, but they were wanting to see how cool it came out. So I don't know. I don't think I take, did I take out my batteries for this one? I don't think the, the sample's on here still. I don't know. But yeah, I normally, you know, my husband gets on me about taking the batteries out, but being military, um, yeah, they won't move anything with batteries in it. They won't take anything with batteries or light bulbs and they don't want they won't take batteries anything with batteries they won't take batteries they won't take light bulbs there's a lot of things they won't take and they won't take candles so yeah so i had to make sure everything that uh, for christmas everything that has batteries i have to make sure it's all removed so yeah we have a pretty big box full of batteries going with us <laughs> or i give them away which is not happening because you all know what how much batteries are. so i love my little casket uh, or my little coffin let me know what you like, uh, what you think. If you have questions on how to make it, don't hesitate. Comment in the section below. And if you like my little coffin, thumbs up. Because next year, I'm making them out of wood so much faster.